What's up fam? So for quite some time you guys have been asking for a full apartment tour and today we're gonna make that happen so let's go ahead and get right into it. What's up everybody and welcome to my apartment. I know this has been a very, very long awaited video and I'm so pumped to be bringing it to you guys. Just real quick, I did wanna give a special thank you to the folks over at Poshmark for making this video possible. If you guys don't know what it is, I will be talking a bit more in detail about it towards the middle and the end of the today's video, but it's a really, really dope app. You can sell stuff, your old stuff, your old clothes super super sick so make sure you hit the link in the description and check them out as i will be also adding a little bit of a surprise so make sure you stay till the end of today's video hit that like button if you're pumped for today's video and without further ado let's go ahead and check out my place of residence all right guys so upon entering my residence you're here in the kitchen that's what you're greeted with first and foremost and we have a nice stainless steel whirlpool refrigerator inside is where the goods are, man. I, I got my iced coffee, my breakfast stuff, and things of that nature. So this is, you know, where I spend like about 10% of my time. I mean, a guy's gotta eat, you feel me? As we go over here, this is the main pantry. Got nice snacks there, peanut butter jelly sandwiches galore. That's one of my favorite things to cook. And as we talk about cooking, we have the Whirlpool stove. Shout out to Whirlpool. It's not a sponsored video, by the way. But uh, it's definitely a nice stove. I personally don't do too, too much cooking as I'm not much of a cook, but Gabby is a wizard out here. And let's go ahead and like pan this way because I actually have, this is where like my hidden compartment is. And this is actually where I do a lot of what I do in this kitchen. This is like the main section cause I'm making coffee out here. I'm not a crazy Keurig person to be honest, but when you gotta go to work, or in a rush, it's definitely very, very convenient. I like to have it tucked away. That's one thing that you're gonna notice about my apartment is that the things that we need and are essential, I like to keep tucked away. That's a huge part about keeping a clean apartment, keeping it minimalistic, if you will. Anyways, moving on. I mean, it's, it's just a kitchen. We got the nice stone countertops here. One thing that the person did say that sold me or uh, leased the apartment out to me is that uh, this specific type of stone is inhospitable to bacteria, which is not a bad look at all. We don't want bacteria. We keep that stuff out of here. We're not trying to get sick. And let's go ahead and go into the main living area where this is probably going to be your guys' most viewed vantage point as I take my Instagram pictures in here, as well as I'm doing a lot of videos and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and check it out. As we step into the main living area, I'm gonna save this little segment for later, so uh, just be patient. But we're stepping into the main living area. One thing that I did wanna emphasize is you can make an apartment look you know, pretty modern and, and semi like minimalistic and things of that nature without breaking the bank. I know places like Restoration Hardware, which isn't necessarily minimalistic, but is certainly modern. Um, you can definitely get that same aesthetic for like a thrifty price, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna have like some pop tags kind of signifying what I paid for each thing, as well as I'll kind of let you not guys know where I bought stuff. So like this plant right here, for example, it adds a pop of color. Um, I mean, you can't just have gray, black and white throughout the duration or throughout, throughout the apartment, if you will. It'd be kind of boring. It is fake. So, um, I mean, I, I, I don't want to take care of it and stuff like that, but I did purchase this over at TJ Maxx Home Goods. That place is amazing, guys. If you guys are looking to purchase stuff for your apartment, do not sleep on TJ Maxx because they do have a ton of great stuff at very, very good prices. And this is not sponsored by any stretch. I just really love that. So I spend like at least an hour a week in that place. But anyways, well, that said, yeah, so I got this thing there for, I believe it was $60, which isn't a bad look has the black and kind of uh, like the hairpin legs here at the bottom. So it's definitely a pretty good look for sure. I like it a lot. And I mean, I feel like I went way too uh, deep into the plant here. Let's go ahead and move towards like this segment over here. I got this floating shelf over at Ikea. I believe it was around $20, give or take. And with that said, um, I added a little pop of color once again. We have fake plants and we have some of my favorite books. Obviously we got the Bible, ESV. Uh, this is my main reader over here. I got a 
little customization action going. And this is the one that's all marked up and whatnot. And this is how, uh, this is the Bible I used to impress Gabby because if you guys don't know, you guys gotta have a lot of highlights in the Bible to impress the Christian ladies. You want a Proverbs 31 woman. So let's go ahead and keep working here. Purpose Driven Church, um, super great book. And this is some of my favorite authors and pastors in that nature, Judah Smith, shout out to him one time. He's honestly really helped me shape my faith and what it looks like to love on this crazy, crazy world and have grace as grace does abound, not just through me, but over everybody. Anyways, a uh, quick little uh, tidbit there. This is my couch. It's made of leather. It does get a little bit dirty as it is white, but it's not such a bad thing because it's made of leather. So it does kind of get stained here and there, but you can definitely clean it. It's not too, too bad. I ended up purchasing this uh, one off of Craigslist. It was actually secondhand, but it was barely used and I got it for a steal. I believe this couch was $240, which I ain't complaining about. So I decided to jump on the deal. I picked it up and I think it fits perfectly here for that clean aesthetic. Again, there's a lot of dead space, empty space because I don't like clutter. One thing that just bothers the heck out of me. Now, this is my beautiful restoration hardware coffee table. So that's one thing that kind of transitions from like myself and my wardrobe to this apartment. Certain things you kind of want to spend a grip on and certain things, you know, you kind of just kind of cheap out on so you can have that extra money to put towards the super staple piece item. And this is, this is it, man. This is from Restoration Hardware. Um, I did purchase it at the warehouse. So I did get it at a significant discount. This is actually a $4,000 coffee table. And I know some of you might think that's ridiculous. Who on earth would spend that much? Actually, they're very successful uh, furniture place. So you should ask them. But uh, yeah, this thing was supposed to be four grand. I ended up uh, purchasing it for significantly substantially less don't sleep on deals man and again of course you got the pop of color here in this nice little succulent uh, which is also not real now moving into this is the mirror i take i don't know if you guys have noticed on my instagram i'll have like some pictures pop up but i always pose right here and take my pictures snap 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 and stuff like that i walk up with the music going that's a kind of regular thing that i do in the morning uh, so I love this mirror, it's very minimalistic. Everybody's asked me where I purchased it and I ended up getting it at Ikea for $60. I know that they stopped making for a while but they're actually back in stock so head over to your local Ikea to get yourself a mirror like this. Not sponsored once again. Now to the entertainment center. This is where the magic proverbially happens. Um, I spent a lot of time here watching ESPN First Take in my mornings. I also love to watch Pastor Judah Smith and a bunch of different other pastors stream them. So, so good. There's a ton of different pastors I listen to and I use this as my weapon of choice. This is my Samsung 60 inch TV. It's awesome, it's 4K internet, stuff like that. Super, super nice. And so what I like to do again is hide a lot of things. So it does have surround sound. This is Samsung. I purchased this off of open box and I got it for half off. So again, that's my thrifty self getting stuff for cheaper. With the TV, I purchased it at Costco knowing that they have an outstanding exchange policy. So if anything ever goes wrong, you could always bring it back to Costco. So shout out to Costco, not sponsored. Once again, uh, fake plant again. And this is actually from Ikea and the deals don't stop guys because here's the deal. I, I'm not crazy about assembling stuff. I mean, sometimes it can be fun, a fun project, but what I decided to do was like, let's just check. Like I knew I wanted this specific piece, but I didn't want to spend the time to do it because I, was, I had so much going on decorating the place. So I looked on Craigslist for it and I, they actually had it. And I purchased it for half the price. So again, that's my thrifty self saving money and doing my best, man. I didn't want to like, I mean, I saved time as well as money on this little entertainment center thing, if you will. And I'm truly so happy with it, man. It's definitely clean. It's got, it plays with that clean aesthetic. And as you notice, there's a, there's a bunch of like different like doodads and stuff like that, accessories. So uh, this is also from TJ Maxx. A lot of the stuff from TJ Maxx. This is from TJ Maxx. I don't really know what it is or what it's for. It doesn't really serve a purpose apart from sitting there and making the room look pretty. All this stuff was really cheap. I mean, it was like $15, $15. And I think this deer antler thing was like 40. So it wasn't too bad at all. I got my backpack here. I don't know why. I like to just kind of have it easy, accessible. So if I had to head out, just kind of grab it and go fill it up and you know head on out. 
Now, let's go ahead and take you to the wonderland that is the IKEA LAC shelf. All right guys, so here is essentially the main attraction. This is kind of the one staple aspect of the main living area as, I mean, it's, it's like my favorite thing ever, it's shoes, right? So um, I'm not gonna go through each specific shoe per se, but this is kind of the setup I have here. I have like these stairs, these man-made stairs that feel out of the boxes of each shoe. Um, of course, not all of the shoes have shoes in them. I actually took them out as you can see here. And I have my display here with all the vans, the Fear of God vans. So as you can see, just all the Fear of God vans and stuff like that. Just a quick way to kind of set it up and have the Fear of God uh, military sneakers as you guys have probably already seen. Um, up here we have the OGs. Um, I just want to give a special shout out to my friend Rich. He hooked me up with this box and uh, let me bring this down real quick so you guys can see the detail that he added on top. So as you can see here, it says keep inspiring the youth. I don't know if you guys can see my sandals and slippers or not, but I took off my shoes so that I could put the shoes back on there. But definitely a nice, nice gesture. So Rich, thank you so much for the gift. It was awesome. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have seen these yet. I haven't put them on video, but I got the Fear God basketball sneakers in white. I wanted them as you guys knew uh, when they first kind of dropped and kind of hinted towards them. So very, very nice. Here we have uh, one of my crowning achievements, getting through college. Of course, um, college isn't for everybody and I can definitively say that, being somebody to be subjective with you guys. Um, not everybody has to go to college to be, you know, following their dreams and stuff like that. So I don't want to discourage you, but at the same time, I don't want to discourage you um, in the sense that you're not going to do something great with your life because you absolutely can just be smart, work hard. This is the greatest country, man, for opportunities. So do your thing, man. Hustle, grind, and you'll get there. But yeah, I, I got a degree in biology. One of my favorite subjects in school. I've always been a science and math guy. So that's why I went uh, through the biology road, if you will. Um, I just got, I picked up these shoes uh, just yesterday morning, actually. Uh, shout out to the plug uh, for that. Uh, the Jordan 3 black cement, very, very nice. Here I just have some lenses and stuff like that. Uh, my Sony camera, just, I mean, this is just pretty much like where I just kind of set up my camera and kind of go backpack right here to the bottom. And Gabby made me this little like kind of, I don't know, decoration if you will. She purchased this stuff at Michael's, I believe. Uh, for really cheap and then this vase is from TJ Maxx that place is the best boost vibes basketball just to add a little bit of oomph and then you guys know my sneaker collection I don't want to get too too far into it so I mean that's pretty much it man super super hyped to have you guys in my place I hope you guys are enjoying it thus far now let's go ahead and whip around because I actually forgot to show you my island as well as my balcony. So let's go ahead and show you the island first. I'll take you outside of the balcony. So one of the main things that drew me into this apartment was this awesome island. I love its location and the added depth as a byproduct of just having this setup be super long. I wanted to have like a situation where it would allow me to have versatile like viewing angles if you will. And this definitely adds it. I mean, I could like set up the camera right over here and shoot, you know, with the chairs over here. And it's just a great setup to say the least, honestly. Um, I haven't really utilized this as much as I want to for like sit down YouTube videos, but I definitely plan on doing so in the future. Uh, again, we have this nice stone uh, that, you know, is inhospitable to bacteria. That's just the, that's just the best thing, man. Um, of course, you got the pop of color once again with the fake plants. I mean, we just, we're just not trying to take care of things you don't have to take care of. That's why I do the fake plants, sue me. Um, with all that being said, guys, I got a candle here. Again, TJ Maxx, TJ Maxx, everything's from TJ Maxx. And then one thing also is I, like just me being thrifty me, these chairs here, I purchased them on Craigslist for $25 each. I actually have four of them. The last one is in storage because again, you want to keep it uniform you don't want it to be cluttered and stuff like that so i just keep three out here and then when i have extra guests over what i'll do is i'll bring out the fourth one and put the other two on this side that way we can have a designated dining area because as you know i don't have a dining table where i'm supposed to have a dining table and i do a lot of my work um, at this table as you can see here by the placement of my laptop 
So let's real quick head over to the balcony outside to my little balcony here. There's really not too, too much to show, but uh, with that being said, uh, it's, a, it's a place where I like to seek solitude and just like enjoy the nice California climate out here. Um, I just have like a nice little coffee table set up. I kept it with the industrial uh, style type of, I guess, like chairs and stuff, plus the table. And then this is little something I did want to share with you guys also. Guys, when it comes to washing your stuff, and I can do a full video on this if you guys would be interested, let me know in the comment section below as to how to take care of your stuff. I have a clothing rack out here solely for the purpose of drying my clothes. Um, I really think the dryer is the devil. It just destroys your clothes. It's just not a smart idea uh, to, to dry your stuff that you care about. So what I do is wash it in delicate and stuff like that. And I do hang dry my stuff, which is like hence, uh, the clothing rack here and this was actually purchased on Amazon for about $12 so it's definitely not bad at all but that's pretty much it I like to spend my time out here have a cup of coffee I'll read my Bible and stuff like that journal and all that good stuff and just uh, just kind of enjoy the nice like wind occasionally that we get over here and the nice sunlight so um, vitamin B is always good for people anyways oops, little technical difficulties here anyways let's go ahead and head towards uh, this part of the apartment. So now that the main area is out of the way, the main living area is out of the way. You got the living room, you saw the balcony, you saw the shoe kind of set up, the island and all that good stuff. Let's go ahead and head to the other side or the uh, parallel side to the apartment because as I said, this place is pretty linear. Um, here we have a closet, duh. Um, I guess not duh because you didn't know that, but I keep a lot of my jackets in here, just my excess jackets. I keep extra blankets for when I have like my buddies sleep on the couch or whatever. And then, I mean, I keep my, just like, you know, again, I put away the important stuff like the vacuum cleaner and stuff like that. And speaking of important stuff, you don't have to pan down because I don't want you to see my sandals. Um, we keep the poker chips because we do have poker night every Sunday if you're here in the Orange County area and you want to get the work. We got poker over here. So anyways, with all that said, guys, keep my tripods and stuff like that as well in there. And let's go ahead and go in the bathroom real quick. It'll be a quick little tour. I don't think there's anything too crazy to show you here in the bathroom. Um, again, we got the fake plants as a pop of color. Got the mirror and stuff like that. It's a little dirty right now. Please excuse that. And I mean, you got a shower, got a toilet. Um, everything here, uh, or for the most part, um, everything's from Ikea. So now that we've seen the bathroom, let's go ahead into the bedroom. And this isn't where any action happens to be quite transparent with you. Um, this is where I sleep. Now, uh, just looking around at the bedroom, it's pretty plain. And honestly, I don't even have a TV in here just because um, I really just want this place to be a place where I just literally shut everything out. Um, I keep everything dark. In fact, I sleep with a face mask and I just want to just like knock out so uh, just take a look around here. We have my Taylor guitar. Uh, that's not to upset anybody who owns like a Martin. I love Martin as well. So definitely love Taylor. It's a great sounding guitar. And again, super plain. I've considered putting a TV here, but I decided to go ahead and get wall art, that of which I haven't found just yet. So um, I'm definitely on the lookout. If you guys have any recommendations for some wall art that would look really cool for this room, definitely let me know. Uh, shoot me a DM or whatever. Um, here's the LV bag. Um, I just got back from the Philippines, as you guys already know, and I use that. Uh, just a pretty simple industrial style uh, lamp here. This box is something special, so definitely make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video because we do be doing some good stuff with uh, the contents that is inside of the box and it's very substantial. So let's go ahead and uh, just check it out. Here we have a big a window. One thing that uh, has been a theme throughout and I hope you guys have already seen it is that there's a lot of light that comes through this apartment, which is my favorite thing. I love waking up to natural light as well as it's optimal for filming. So I have this nice big window here. And then again, sticking with the theme of light, let there be light. Uh, just a little bit of wall art, a uh, Bible verse that really is just such um, an impactful verse for me personally. It signifies the coming of Jesus. Let there be light to invade dark spaces. And so that's definitely a really impactful verse for me personally. I have one out there as well, as you guys have probably already noticed before. And here's my bed setup. Um, this comforter is actually a duvet that I purchased over at Target. Um, if I can find the link, I'll definitely link it below, but it's very fairly priced and very, very soft. When it comes to bedding, guys, do not cheap out. You're gonna spend at least one third of your day, one third of your life sleeping. So invest in a great bed. As I said before, 
you know, allocate your money well. If you want to stretch your money, uh, purchase the things that are really important to you personally. And sleep is a huge thing to me. Um, so, I mean, I have uh, memory foam pillows and stuff like that. And then I bought this headboard here. Um, I kind of cheaped out on that, to be honest. I bought it on Craigslist. But um, the rest of this stuff is really good. And my mattress is literally the best mattress. It's, I will put my mattress against anybody's and ended up spending, um, I think it was 2000 on this mattress, which to me like is a, a great investment. I sleep like a baby every single night. So invest in a good mattress, guys. It's definitely worth investing in yourself. It's worth it and you are worth it. Uh, moving over here, we have uh, just a, night, a little nightstand um, I bought for super cheap on Craigslist again. I think it was honestly $10. Uh, I bought this at TJ Maxx as well as that at TJ Maxx. And then Gabby got me this picture frame of us too. Uh, just kind of encapsulating our relationship um, because sometimes we kiss, sometimes she just pretends to kiss me and just smiles at me. So that's pretty much what that is. I hide everything again. My printer's underneath um, the nightstand and it's just hidden and secluded. Moving on to the other side here of the bedroom, we have this chair. I purchased it on Craigslist. Again, super cheap. I paid, I think it was $80 and I use it for videos as well. So that's uh, the main uh, function of it. I do plan on adding plants and stuff like that to my bedroom. Again, it's not fully, I guess, furnished, if you will. I just haven't gotten around to it. And um, let's go ahead and go to the closet. I feel like that's something that people have been kind of asking for. So go ahead and like just get a quick overview of the closet here. Um, it's a walk-in closet. It's not crazy. Don't expect anything like, you know, what other YouTubers have. I don't have that type of lifestyle. Everything uh, that I purchase is usually either gifts, of course, from different brands. So shout out to them for sure or um, I, I spent my own hard-earned money on it, so I'm very, very selective of, of what I purchased and stuff like that. But I think I have a pretty decent closet, to say the least. Um, nothing's color-coordinated, I just kind of have it set up by like what it is. So uh, this whole middle section here is either short sleeve or long sleeve t-shirts. This will probably be my bottom layer. I'm here on the outskirts of uh, this rod, if you will, is gonna be my outerwear. So I have a bunch of jackets, like heavy, thicker, thicker jackets, um, as well as over there. The excess of my heavy thick jackets fall over to the coat uh, closet that I showed you earlier. And I mean, it's kind of ironic that it's always freaking hot here, yet us Californians are so, we spend a lot of money on jackets. It's not just me, it's like my best friends too. But um, moving onward, uh, here's my, like, my flannel section and denim section. So uh, these are a few of my flannels here. Uh, I got my, some of my thicker ones from Minimal. I got my Richie Lee one here. I love this one a lot. I'm not gonna get too far into it because um, this video could take forever. I've um, got some denim jackets, got a few different colors, washes, stuff like that. Here is a few of my vans, not all of them, but here is a few of them. So let me know if you wanna do a full closet tour because I will feature all my vans and stuff like that. Or I can just do a vans collection video. Let me know. Uh, this is my Autel Robotics um, drone. Here's some of my sweatshirts. Got some off-white, got some, uh, this is not rude, this is uh, minimal. Uh, Supreme, minimal, off-white, fear of God. So I got a few different pieces there. And again, I can do a full closet tour if you want. And this is like my main bottoms. So it's none of my shorts. My shorts are actually in my dresser over there, as well as my sweatpants and my track pants are in the dresser. This is just a majority of my denim. A lot of my denim is also like folded in my dresser, but this is like my main rotation denim. So on each, like see here, like on each hanger, I have like three or four pairs of denim and that's, you know, a huge shout out to Minimal. They have such a wider range of denim and I love that about them. Um, I have some Summit denim. I have, you know, a bunch of different pants out here. And again, I can do a full closet tour. I don't want to spend too, too much time in here. Boots up there, boxes up there, uh, just a wide array of stuff. And I, I try to keep it pretty eclectic and I like to mix it up every now and again. Some days I'll go full hype beast. Actually, I never go full hype beast. Some days I'll go some hype beast. Um, and other days I'll just kind of want to be a little bit more grown up and stuff like that when I'm like hanging out with Gabby and everything. But uh, that's essentially my closet. Let me know again if you want a full closet tour. I'll go through a majority of the stuff. But with all that said, guys, that's my bedroom. I know it wasn't too, too crazy. I, I'm hoping that you guys didn't think, um, you know, my apartment was going to be too insane in terms of like what it's comprised of. Um, I did my best to keep it pretty thrifty. I want the aesthetic of it being really minimal while mixing into that like contemporary type of look. And I think I did a pretty decent job. So that's gonna do it for the apartment tour, guys. I hope that you did enjoy it. 
I was kind of cleaning the other day and upon cleaning and stuff like that and kind of putting some stuff away that way it kind of looked semi-organized here in the apartment. I did come across this idea of letting go of some of my stuff because honestly there's stuff in this box that is brand new, still unwrapping. Uh, some of the stuff has never been used. Uh, some of the stuff uh, tags are still attached and just stuff that I never got around to wearing. And I thought to myself, what would be a cool way to get this stuff out to you guys? And this box is like completely full, very, very heavy, and there's a ton of stuff. Long story short, I decided to post this stuff on Poshmark. If you guys don't know what the app is, definitely hit the link in the description because it's for sure worth a look. It's essentially an app that utilizes aspect of social media as well as selling like some of your new and old stuff and putting it out to like a really, really big audience for them to see. I personally know so many different people that have the app, whether it be male or female, and you can kind of just sell your stuff on there. I really like the app personally because um, say I like Jimmy's outfits and I think and I follow Jimmy all the time and say Jimmy has a Poshmark account I could follow Jimmy on Poshmark and know whenever Jimmy puts that really dope jacket that I saw him wearing in his Instagram say if he puts it up for sale I can know right away when he's put it for sale so I just think it's a really sick app I know my friend Joel uses it um, there's just a ton of different people that use the app so if you don't have the app already hit the link in the description it'll take you to the app store so that way you can download it it's definitely worth a look if you guys are into I guess like buying and selling different clothes and stuff like that and it's 100% safe they back all the transactions and all that good stuff so definitely well trusted you know what, while we're at it, let's go ahead and put something up for sale right now. So what I'm gonna do is put this pair of track pants up for sale on my Poshmark account. Let's uh, get Poshmark going here real quick. And what I'm gonna do is put these up for sale right now. So I'll just take my picture here, um, that filters and all that good stuff. And then I'll just go ahead and fill in the details, minimal track pants, uh, size, medium so let's go ahead and do that that's a uh, minimal track track pant size medium let's put minimal in there so the original price I think it was $64 I could be wrong but I'm gonna put these up for sale right now for $1 so let's just put it up for $1 and list it I will be selling everything that's in this box here for a dollar and there's a ton of good stuff. There's, you know, some track denim, uh, more track denim, so, you know, the, the, some of this stuff still has tags attached. It's just stuff that I have like multiples of. I've been so blessed to like work with like a multitude of brands it's from Summit. There's like a ton of stuff in here, another Summit t-shirt. Um, got some Killian in here, got a ton of good stuff, and I will be posting everything on my Poshmark at some point when I have time for a dollar. So make sure you download the app and make sure you're following me. Uh, it's at Paul Fuentebella um, at Poshmark, and use the link in the description to download it. Help me as well. And with all that being said, guys, good luck, notification gang. Make sure you uh, you jump on those uh, track pants over there because they're gonna be up for sale for a dollar and hopefully you get them. And yeah, with all that being said, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button as it does go such a long way for us YouTubers. Comment down below to get a discussion going. You guys know I do my best to comment back to every single one of you. And thank you so much for checking my place out, seeing where I live life. I'm definitely blessed to to have this little space and place and call it mine. And yeah, guys, as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.